Happy Friday, everyone. This is the Treat Your Room Chat. Hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful Friday. And what I do in this Treat Your Room, probably about 80% of my day is doing eyebrows, sculpting them, waxing them, tweezing them, trimming them, adoring them, and filling them in. So I'm going to teach all of you how I fill in eyebrows. So of course, my handy dandy mascara wand, which is my favorite. It's always good to just smooth out your eyebrows beforehand just to kind of get all the hair hairs in place. I did my brows yesterday and there's some hairs here that are combination of vellus hair and terminal hair. So vellus hair is peach fuzz and terminal hair is like the hair on top of your head or kind of the thicker parts of your of your actual eyebrows. So it's, I tend to see a little bit of like thinning of that terminal hair towards the end of the brow and then the beginning of the brow. So it's always nice to kind of amplify the look of your brow by using a little bit of a shadow or there's so many things on the market. There's an eye eyebrow gel, there's eyebrow mascara. Um, you do what really suits you, but I'm going to show you how I fill mine in. So this is like literally a Maybelline brush from Walmart that was like four bucks. Okay, you don't need to spend so much money and you want to use a matte shadow if you're going to fill in with shadow of course. So I'm using a, a dark brown and I'm just dipping a little bit in and just tapping it and you want to, I always like to raise my eyebrows when I fill them in, but you just want to line the bottom of the brow first and bring it right down to the tail. Okay, so that's kind of like your first line. And I always have a little bit of a gap in here of just not necessarily a gap, but just the follicles have a little bit more square feet around them. So it's always lovely to put just a little bit more shadow there to kind of create that crisp line up to the arch and then cascade down to the tail. Your second uh, line is going to be right in the beginnings. So you just want to go upwards and just kind of fill that spot in a smidge. And then the third line will be just connecting that line and doing the top. So you want this line to be parallel to your first line and bring it all the way up to your arch and then connect it in with your tail. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. Once again, underneath is your first line. It's hard to do this in the video, but I think you guys are getting the gist of it. Of course, it definitely does help when your brows are already done and sculpted, but I always want to get, kind of get my clients encouraged that we actually can get to that point eventually. And you know what, women, we can make or fake or break anything that we maybe want to enhance or dehance on our body, so why not go to our handy dandy eyeshadow to fill it in? right up to that arch and then once again kind of coming down and the best thing about shadow is that you can kind of just like lick a q-tip and and if you've messed up you can totally just do that that's no, no no problem to take it away and then I always like just soften it out with using my mascara wand and then you're done so you kind of want to make it look really natural and I find the shadow really does execute that for you so hope you guys are having fun filling in those eyebrows and get your expression on and have a great weekend take care bye